Coach, I remember when I was at IU going into your office at Ben Davis. I know you're an Indiana guy. Did you ever envision being the head coach at IU? You know, I, I can't say that I did. You know, I, my goal was to be a D corner in the Big Ten. I did say that. I did dream about that. But uh, the chance to have this position in, in my home state, you know, being born and raised here is pretty special. But no, I, I can't say that it was my, something I all thought would ever happen. How do you think it's different being a head coach here because you are an Indiana guy? Well, I, I just think that when it's personal, yeah. it's your home, uh, it just it means so much to me. I know so many people there. So my hometown, Newcastle, is so deeply tied to the university, uh, kind of through a basketball lens. But at the same time, it's such so many connections. So it just there's so many layers, and it means so much to so many people that I know so well. So I feel so accountable to so many people to make sure we get it right, and build this thing, and, and do something special. So it's just uh, I think the difference is just how personal it is. Talk about personal. Your son Tom's on the team. He's playing about 30 percent of the snaps. How personal is that? Didn't get much more personal, you know, but just to have your son, it's, it's a blessing. You know, I played for my dad in, in high school, but uh, the chance to coach him here in college is, a, is an awesome thing, and we're very blessed to have it. And, you know, he uh, came off of surgery this summer and is doing some really good things. And just, uh, you just can't get the time back, you know, and I really feel like that uh, um, having him here with me every single day is, is uh, it's not easy, but it's an awesome thing, and we feel blessed. You ever get calls from his mom about playing time? Uh, I, see his, I see her frequently, and I have to give a count to her. So. <laughs> These questions aren't too emotional for you, are they? Nah, they yeah, I know you're an emotional nah, guy. Nah, that's good. Uh, you look at the emotions of last week's game, you know, against Ohio State. It looks like the team was ready to roll, didn't come out the way you wanted to. So what about the emotions of the team this week against yeah. UConn? Well, it's a big week for us. You know, we got to be able to, to regroup, you know, but that's where your leadership comes in, both in your coaching staff and in your players. And so I just feel like that, you know, I really challenge our captains and our, our seniors to be able to get our guys back refocused and, you know, learn from the things that the, the mistakes we made, but we're still a young enough football team where we had uh, some opportunities in front of us and didn't take advantage of them. So I think we'll, we'll know a lot more about our team, how we respond, but I think it was just back to, back to fundamentals, back to basics, fix things that you saw on film and get a chance to come back and do it again today on, on Saturday. Well, emotion, emotions are an important part of the game and yeah. really enjoy watching you play and watching your emotion as you coach your team. Thank you so much. I appreciate Thanks, it. Thanks, Coach. Thank you.